Every year at St. Martin's, the yearbook committee puts together a yearbook that contains school pictures. However, this year, there was no school picture day. This is due to the new COVID guidelines that require everyone to wear a mask and to stay home in order to prevent the spread of the virus. Now, this poses a problem. How are we going to have a yearbook with no yearbook photos? Well, lucky for us, the yearbook committee has a way for you to submit your photos safely without even leaving your own home. Now, I'm going to show you how. First, you're going to want to go to this website, hjeshare.com. Now, this student is going to be doing this the incorrect way. As you can see, they put in a random school code. Now, this is not the code. The code is St. Martin, which they have. However, there are no uppercases in our code. You want all lowercase St. Martin as one word. Next, they look at their submission and they insert a fake name for their first and last name. Now, no matter how clever or how funny your fake name is, it will not be accepted and you will be required to redo it. Next, with their email, they put in their own personal email. Now, this will not be accepted again as it is easier for yearbook to contact you through your student email. Next, they put in a fake phone number. Again, we need your real phone number in case we need to contact you about any issues with your yearbook photo. This student also skips right past the guidelines so they don't know what they're going to be looking for when they take their photo. Your photo needs to be in your uniform, which this student is not wearing. As you can see, they're in a black shirt. The student's photo is also too small. You're going to want to make sure that your photo fits and that that message does not appear. Next, the student sizes their photo incorrectly and crops it in a way that does not allow you to see their full face and shoulders. They also insert a fake grade and again, another fake name. Now, when you write this down, this is exactly how your name will appear in the yearbook and they will not be accepted if it is a fake name. The student won't want to submit this as you will just have to redo it and make sure that it is in the correct format. Next, we are going to show you the correct way. Again, go to hjeshare.com. This student will put in the correct code. Next, they put in their real first name and last name in the registry. And then they put in their student email. Now your email is your student number at educ.dpcdsb.org. That is your student number at educ.dpcdsb.org. Using this email will allow us to contact you easily and you want to make sure to be checking your email in case there are any concerns or updates about your yearbook photo. Next, the student puts in their real phone number and agrees to the terms and conditions. This student then makes sure to read the guidelines, which includes a color photo, no face filters, and to be sure that you are in your uniform. They then go into their photo library and pick out a photo of them in their uniform. This student's picture is too small, but for the sake of this video, we're going to pretend that it isn't. If this message appears, you're going to want to retake your photo or crop it in a different way. Next, you will need to crop your photo so that it fits in your head and shoulders into the image nicely and to make sure that you are centered in the photo. It may take you a bit to figure out how to crop it correctly as this can be quite finicky, but eventually you will figure it out and have a photo that is ready for the yearbook. Again, you want to make sure that this message doesn't appear, but finally you will have your photo done. Next, the student puts in their grade. Now your grade will be either 9, 10, 11, 12, or post-grad. Be sure that you choose the correct grade, as if you don't, then you may be listed under another grade's photos. Finally, you're going to want to include your first and last name as you would like it to appear in the yearbook. Try not to put any nicknames in, and make sure that it is a real name. Be sure to review all of your information before you submit your image, and when you are done, just click the big button that says Upload Portrait Image. Finally, you can celebrate. You've successfully submitted your photo to be used in the yearbook.